We have a coffee maker like this in the office. It's not the fanciest one in the market, but everybody has been quite happy with its performance. The material used here is mostly polypropylene, an affordable plastic with a reasonably low carbon footprint, even as a virgin grade. PP is challenging material. Its tensile modulus is relatively low, resulting in low stiffness of the product, and due to its high shrinkage, warpage and zinc marks easily cause at least visual problems. The surface of PP is also a little oily, which affects the perceived quality. The material tends to collect dust and dry poorly, which we have all experienced when unloading a washing machine. In this case, the design team has managed to tackle these issues quite well. The product is straight and sturdy, all the mechanisms work well, and the surface quality is reasonably good. I believe an EDM surface may have led to a better outcome, and if we have a polished surface with PP, it typically looks better in white. From the point of view of a plastic product designer, this is a very well designed product in many respects. But there is one thing that bothers me. This metal plate here. It has nothing to do with the function or functionality of the product. It is an additional component which increases cost, collects dirt and bacteria, makes the product more difficult to recycle and elevates the environmental footprint of the product significantly. Designing an appealing product using low-cost plastic is challenging, but more than adding decorative metal components is needed. We need to be more clever than this. Thank you on my behalf and behalf of the coffee maker. If you found this interesting, please follow plasticprop.com for more videos on plastic product design.